talk in Tokyo is of a turnaround as stocks soared more than 14 percent. Closed for a holiday Monday, it was Japan's first chance to join an international surge on stocks. Markets across Asia kept climbing in response to international efforts to rescue the world's crippled financial system. This crisis demonstrates beyond doubt that a global capital market requires much stronger global cooperation and supervision. Britain led European countries in pledging trillions of dollars to buy stock in battered banks and protecting consumer cash. America's following a similar plan, using $250 billion to buy stock in the country's bigger banks. And with confidence and determination, we will return our economies to the path of growth and prosperity. The extreme measures may have headed off a complete global market meltdown for now, but analysts warn that fears of a severe economic downturn are far from over. Let's hope that we know it's going to be very painful, but let's hope it's very short. Banks are still skittish about lending money to one another, freezing credit to companies and consumers. The global financial crisis has entered into a new dangerous and damaging phase, one which goes to the real economy growth and jobs. But with the markets on the rebound, there's hope it may help the global economy turn around too. Charlie Daggett of CBS News, London.